Right then guys, I've just recorded the video. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you're new around you. Drop us a like. Comment if you've got a thumb around boa. And I'll, uh, I'll shut up and get on with it now. <laughs> Cheers guys. What's going on guys? It's showing you with Asana Serpentarium. And today I'm just going to do a little video on Dumrell's boa care. She's a little bit hissy with me now, but uh, it can be a little bit chat. Char she's never snappy with me at all. <laughs> Luckily enough, because she's quite close to my face. <laughs> this right here is my 11 year old adult female. This is pretty much as big as they get as adult females. I just weighed her, she's weighing in at 8.3 kilograms and um, she's just under 7 foot long. She eats uh, XL rats every 2-3 to three weeks so uh, that's it's pretty expensive feeding it but on the plus side they go off food between sort of mid September and then until about end of February time. So you don't have to worry about feeding or cleaning too much there. These guys, you need a site D certificate in the UK to uh, to have them. So make sure you've got all the relevant paperwork with them. As far as housing, they need at least a 4 by 2 viv, really. Um, adult males will be great in that, especially. They don't get as big as the females. As you can see with my my boy and these aren't massive examples of the morales boys they don't normally reach this large so um another thing i want to talk about with these guys then is they are extremely docile to be honest though um i've not had any trouble with my pay i do work with them a little bit but since i've had my operation i haven't really handled them at all and they're still nice and tame well I say tame, I use that phrase loosely, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> she's uh yeah, she's a brilliant next step snake for anyone looking to uh to get something a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier. They take years and years to grow. Um I've seen uh, some reports saying it takes about six to eight years for a female to be big enough to breed. I think that's why this is such a big specimen because I don't think she's ever been bred before. I'm hoping a breeder this winter because they're not commonly seen at all. I had massive, massive problems trying to find myself a pair. So uh, it'd be nice to see them more common in the hobby. They're absolutely gorgeous with this uh, sort of cryptic patination all the way down the saddle there. Um, I think personally there's no way you can beat this coloration and patination with any common boa morph to be honest with you um they're just gorgeous snakes <coughs> she's uh she's very chatty as you can hear she's hissing quite a lot she's not unwell at all I th first thought when I first got her that she had a respiratory infection but I spoke to some other Dumbrells people and they said no they are just that chatty and I took her to my friend who happens to be a vet nurse and uh, she said no she definitely does not right so it, it just got the all clear they don't need a lot of heat 88 degrees hot spot is great and cooling down to about 75 I always find that these are never on the hot side to be honest with you very rarely do I go up there even after they've eaten and they're on the hot but hot side and their cool end is about 80 degrees so that's pretty cool really that you don't need to worry too much about having a super warm enclosure and uh, worry about that making them unwell i've talked about breeding them just now to breed these guys you do need to brumate them and you've got to brumate them cooler than you'd think about 65 70 degrees um, some people like to do slightly warmer in the day and then drop the temp in the night. I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to leave them sit at 70 degrees. Keep their metabolism nice and slow. Obviously, don't just drop them down to that temp. Yeah, you got to slowly taper them down over the weeks go. Um, yeah, so I'll do that to keep their metabolism nice and slow. 
I'll probably keep them there for about four or five months and then I'll slowly start to heat them back up. Um, hopefully I'll get some good locks and uh, hopefully I'll have some baby damarels. I'll probably keep uh, one, one or two of the babies for myself and then the rest will be available to responsible keepers. I've got all the paperwork needed definitely make sure that you've you've got the paperwork needed okay for these um but they're fantastic pets i really can't recommend them enough you don't hold a boa the boa holds you very much so especially when it's an adult like this they make amazing display snakes because of that cryptic coloration on the on the back there and i just think they're absolutely drop dead gorgeous Substrate wise, I'd use a semi dry loose shifting substrate. These guys do like to burrow quite a bit. Where they come from in Madagascar, they normally live under the leaf litter, and that's why they've got this sort of cryptic pat 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 patination along the uh, along the back. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out there. <laughs> oh God, what's the matter, man? Right, yeah. Um. Handling wise, these can stress out a little bit if handled too much. Um, half hour, three times a week would be ample to keep it tame, give you entertainment, but not stress it out as well. So you've got to find that balance. Each individual snake is going to be slightly different. I don't make a routine out of handling mine. I just do it once every so often so they stay, stay easy to work with. Um, and they get a little bit of enrichment outside the enclosure, but not so much that they get stressed out. What else can I talk about with these then? Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, they don't like too high of a humidity. I just give them a little spray down when they're shedding. I'd recommend a good size water bowl, and they like fresh water every day. Okay, I can't emphasize that enough. You should do that with any snake. But especially these guys, they really do like like a good bit of water. Um, that's all I can think about. I don't script my videos. I like to keep it a little bit more authentic. I just do it all off the top of my head. But I hope you've uh, learned something today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this gorgeous snake. Um, I'll just show her roaming around real quick at the end of the video now. Make sure you smash that notifications button if you're already subscribed. If you're not subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Like the video, comment down below if you like this snake, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the free roam section. Cheers, guys. Right, well, I think what I'm actually going to do today, I'm just quickly recording this now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera up on the door that I can tie around. Uh, I've got the tripod to do that, and I'm just going to leave the room and leave her alone. There's nothing she can hurt herself on. She's not going to get out. I'm only in the other room anyway. I can check on her through the window. But I just want to see what she does when I'm not here. If that makes any sense. So um I'll uh, I'll pause the video here and I'll uh, I'll play once I've tied the uh the phone to the door. Just real quick guys, I forgot to mention just now, <laughs> sorry but this is so staggered and not organized today, I don't know what's the matter with me. Um, I forgot to mention real quick, I'm also going to be starting a series on Damarel's Boas, so if you made it this far, make sure you keep your eye out for that. I'm going to be covering everything from breathing them, in order that I'm doing it, it's going to be breathing them, and then raising up the babies because that's the order that I'm going to have them in. I'm also going to be covering as well um, methods of breeding, brumation, 
feed in beforehand and stuff like that so you've got everything then you need to know about them uh, I like to uh, show the rarer snakes on this channel that's that's more or less what I'm about really um, the reason being for one thing not many people are showing them um, the snakes I love and I've always wanted videos on them so that's why I like to concentrate on that sort of stuff so I hope you're enjoying the uh, the channel so far I know that my uh, my camera work isn't that great but I'm trying to improve on on each video so uh, I hope that, uh, that you stay tuned cheers guys